Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 3. Now, before we head into the campaign, there is a new weekly, the Deserted Drop-Off. So in this level, we've got 40 grand. We've got a load of materials, five springs. And what have we got to do? What is going on here? So there is a car on a forklift. That's got a cat on the side of it. So we got to get that across. Presumably, I can just do a bit of that. I mean, maybe with the grid on, can I just... Oh, <laughs> I was about to say after my last speed running video, my speed running tactics are down. Yeah, not quite. But a uh, question, is that strong enough? No, it isn't. Not, not in the slightest. You can usually, though, steal around the outside and that makes the entire truss a lot stronger. There we go. So we get to there. Right. Okay. So we drop the car down there. We've just got to get around. That is part of the background, is it? Ah, okay. Okay, then. So presumably, if I grab a straight line, I go from there over to there and go boosh. And then I just make a bit of a, a bit of a bridge like that. I assume this will break because there's so much force. I might turn the stress on. I might also turn the speed down. So let's just see what happens. It lands. Oh, it lands really hard. I do wonder though, if I were to perhaps just replace that with a spring, we just turn the grid off. That can move. Yeah. So that should take quite a lot of the impact, right? Maybe. I could also replace that with cable because that's better in tension. And I think as this like springs down and adds weight, that's what that's what's going to happen down there. So let's try that. So let's see. Slow-ish motion. Oh, that nearly worked. That nearly worked. I mean, I'm actually wondering if I if I take that off, if I were to just do like like that sort of thing. Yes, it's squidgy, but it's sh old. So that broke under there. I'll tell you what then, I could just muscle it up by doing that sort of thing. Oh no, I've gone over budget. Okay, well let's just let's just get under budget first, because I probably don't actually need a lot of steel up here. If I just like, because what I'm doing up here, I'm just like supporting the the car that I already have. Like it's only these end pieces where there'll be a lot of stress, right? If I turn the stress, oh no, they're quite stressed in the middle. They're like yellow already. We'll see what happens. Oh no, it's good though. It is good. Engineering instinct. I've still got it. Decent. Let's have a look at the player solutions. Okay, so we'll sort the gallery by the lowest budget. So this first one, look at the cheese. What does it cost? 12 grand. <laughs> Why does... 39 grand. That is utter cheese, though. That's disgusting. And I'm a man that actually likes cheese. Oh, look. RCE propaganda. Cheers for that. Lowercase. Still half my budget as well. But yeah, everyone just like banana bridged or dangly roaded it. Not impressed. Not impressed. Let's go to the good end of the budget. So what happens? Oh, look. It drops the car straight away. And then, ow. <laughs> and then prods it. Oh, right between the wheels. <laughs> Pushes it along there. And then, oh, look at this. That's very strongly supported. This one, we got RC propaganda. And ooh, what does that, what did that say? Oh, Nifty. That's a cup of tea. I want to know what happened to Nifty. Are they okay? Was it me all along and I just got bored of doing my own solutions twice? Is Nifty too busy firing a lawsuit against me because I said I was going to make actual Nifty and sell it? I don't know, but hopefully we can find out this episode. Oh, look, RCE. And then look at that. Truss. I like that. It's like the crystal maze of trusses. Anyway, nearly everyone did this without springs. So I guess, I guess I'm an idiot is that how did they do it oh they put a little can you see that there if we rewrite there's a bit of road that trips up the forklift truck so it drops it earlier yeah that makes sense well, anyway that is a weekly challenge we actually completed we're now back into the radical meltdown and this one if you remember uses like weird custom shapes so if we press play on this oh my goodness so that is the bridge it spins around it's got death spikes underneath uh, oh and we've actually got to get under there because, okay, do the... Oh, the spikes go, like, way underwater. But yeah, we've got to get to that start. So I think what we're going to have to do... We're going to have to do a bridge over to, like, there-ish. Then probably put a gap in. I mean, I can probably just copy that. Oh, I was going to say and put it there. That will get completely stabbed. But if we just move that to the left a bit... Hopefully there will be enough room that we can support this. Because I can... I think I can brace against the walls. If I just truss this up as best I can sort of thinking like that sort of thing and then just wall brace because I can I can put wood between those as long as I don't like as long as I don't put road there it should be fine and then I can probably just copy this wang it on that side could that work we press play yes the spikes doesn't touch it is it strong enough to oh not quite so we broke down there I'll tell you what I can probably replace that Let's just put steel down there. I'll probably need to do the same on the other side. Yeah, let's probably watch this with the stress on as well. Let's try and see how stressed we are. 
Oh, we are good. We are good. 22 grand. I did that. So I mean, oh, I'm only in the top 23%. That's not great. Uh, absolutely smashed Tyler. Though. I mean, is there even any point in looking these days? I think I want to see how I can get up the leaderboards a bit easier. I reckon probably don't need those muscles. Probably don't need like those. So that is holding. Whether it's strong enough now. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, can I replace the steel down here with road? Because that is a big cost. We're now 19,496. Are we strong enough? Oh, yes, we are. Yes, we are. I'm then thinking there's like, there's quite a lot of material here. If I can sort of, I mean, I could replace it with that. And that's so much less material. That will have some movement now, though. Though, what if I were to? Can I, I tell you what, let's bring all these up. Because then I can connect to, yeah, that's, that uses way fewer pieces. It does look a little bit stronger. Though. It's actually, it's flickering in terms of stress. It's all good though, which means I can probably do the same on this side. So basically just try and do that because it uses far fewer pieces. So let's have a look. Is the right side still strong? Yep. So 17 and a half grand now. We've we've shaved off a fair bit of money. Oh, we're now in the top 8%. That is not bad. I do just wonder though, I could make these a lot cheaper if I were to like actually disconnect this middle bit so bear with me here but my thoughts are if i do something like that i guess then this should yeah can you see it's dangling from the middle and so if that's dangling it means my my truss is over this side it don't need to be big at all so if i can make a structure that self-supports over there i mean that did break maybe i do need a bit of road under there still but if that works oh i need to Okay, I need to start this a bit lower. So it's got to be, let's just cut that. I think it's got to be like there-ish. Now what I may need to do, I may need to do like some sort of split like that. Just so it, it doesn't tilt as much. But this is going to tilt. Yeah, as it as it drives on. It might, oh, it might be okay. I don't know. What if I use rope there and there? If I rope all of that, it's a bit more expensive. We're still only 11 grand though. I haven't done the other trust. If I copy that over. Okay, we're on 14 grand. That's a hell of a lot cheaper than I was. It's just whether this will rotate too much. Oh, it's like, yeah, it's, it's not ideal, basically. I mean, the other method would basically be just doing that. Because then it's not going to tilt as much. It uses a fair bit more material. Although, does it? 14 grand? Oh, it's not strong at all. <laughs> However, if I swap the, the wood with rope, that's a lot better in tension. Oh, that side did hurt. It's because we're going onto this rather than off. So it needs to be a little bit stronger. I could probably wood some of this up. I am thinking though, maybe if I just move the trusses a little bit, just to add a bit more strength. So is that any... Okay, that's not any better. <laughs> <laughs> that got annihilated. Look, I'm getting back up to like my normal price. I mean, exaggerating slightly, I did it for 15,328. That puts us top 4%. I think I'll take that. We're 345th in the world. Let's have a look in the gallery. We're in the lowest budget. How cheap did people do? What? Under five grand? What? Wait, what? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, what? Okay, I'm going to guess. Yeah, this is the way that everyone will have done this. Utter... Jeez. So you can see there's like very small, very small bits of road because they're heavy and they're expensive and it's all just dangling. It's all just dangling. Everyone's done the same thing, but slightly differently. Hey, look, RC propaganda and it still only costs six grand. <laughs> oh, razzdazzed. Anyway, oh, look, tension bridge with gaps in. Fair play. Didn't even think about that. And then we got people dangling from above. They've only got, like, it is all connected, which means you only need one support in the middle. So a lot cheaper than mine. But yeah, looks like tension bridge was the way to go. Anyway, let's have a look at the highest budget. Oh boy. Oh my god. What the frick? <laughs> okay, let's uh let's just start that again. Let's just pause and see what the hell is going on here. So there's an RC weight underwater that is hanging up here. <laughs> Alan. And yeah, that's oh, dangling that up and down. There's another one that falls down and this guy's pulling it. Alan. Anyway, this one. Oh, look at the font. Look at the font. I need to put that on a t-shirt. That's well cool. All right, someone screenshot that. Send it to me in my Discord. Nice one, Rokio28. I like that. All right, another one. RC Propaganda. Love to see it. This one, sort of standard bridge with holes in. Uh, this one, oh, by Payden. Look at that. The cable stayed, but it's not like attached to the ground. It's actually weighted with giant Mickey Mouses. <laughs> That's really cool. Fair play. This one, oh, look at that arch. 
It's like the it's like the Wembley Stadium. We are under the dome in this. Malawless 25, they know how to build. That is all I'm saying. This one, RC propaganda. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what did that say? What did that say? Sorry for joint cheese. Yeah, I know. You and like a hundred other people on this level. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, you are forgiven. You are forgiven. Wait, that's really long. That was real. Uh, anyway, this one, sub to RC. Yes, you should do what this person says because they built a really bilfy bridge. They are definitely an engineer and they know the engineering thing to do is this. Now this one, oh, underwater RC propaganda. Nice variation on the style. This one, oh my goodness. Look at the, look at the chainage going on. And interestingly, chainage is actually a word in like highway engineering. It's like how you sort of measure like the length of a road. But yeah, right, let's move on to the next level. This is called sunk cost. So, ooh, we start off with some with some steel there. Why why is that there? So if I press play, what actually happened? Oh, it sinks. That sinks. Interesting. Question though, why were there steels like I don't understand. Why were there steels there? We don't have any hydraulics, any rope springs. It's just wood steel road. There's a star down here. So for this level, the police car has to probably stop there, then sink down down to get the star and then go along in a bridge. Now this rock thing does not collide with anything. So oh, I think I realize why that's there now. Is it because oh, I don't know actually. I was going to say do I need to like, do I need to do a bit of that to stop the police car? <laughs> I got the star. Yeah, because I can't collide with this rock. So it's going to be very hard to stop that police car. I need to do my bridge from like down there basically. Now looking at the budget. I have done like a little bridge. It's going to be way too weak. I've got 55 grand. So I imagine I will need steel just to like stop this absolutely getting obliterated. We need to stop the police car from driving. What if I just put a dangly bit of road like that? Oh, it drove straight through it. Something like that. It's, it is not strong enough. Okay, well perhaps from there. Oh, hello. Oh, that nearly worked. Okay, what actually happened there? So it sort of drove over. And then it did just get stuck. Unfortunately, that bit broke. Would that not break if I swapped all of these with wood? Because I don't know if you noticed, but there's not actually that much force on... Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> I was going to say, not that much force on this lower one, but there, there really is. Still, that worked. Oh, and that piece didn't break. Oh, yeah, we did it. 32 grand. That puts us in the top 19%. I have a feeling Tyler did better. Yeah, because he does the half budget thing. So if we watch this with stress on, yeah, I reckon we can definitely swap a lot of this for wood. I mean, to be fair, do I even, do I need all this? Can it just dangle? No. <laughs> I can probably swap that with a wooden muscle. So we'll try that. Oh no, it, it broke instantly. Okay, well, I think that's sort of as cheap as I can make the top for now. Oh no, the bridge breaks now. Slight little changes affects everything. All right, to be honest, I think trimming this one is going to require engineering time. We give designs to follow. They will build up the new world of concrete and steel. Oh, how do we make them? The engineer knows. The thickness of the steel. The type of concrete. The length of every beam. The size of your mum's flange. No, I mean the engineering one. All right, so this is what I came up with. It's actually pretty good in my opinion. So I really reduced this to just a tiny bit of road. Yes, there is steel there, but it's under a lot of stress. But then the, the police cars like that. And I've used a 
a rope cable there to hold the bridge in place. The rest of the bridge, really small arch, nice and cheap. 18 and a half grand with 74th in the world, top 1%. I mean, if I can save like another 100 quid, we will be laughing. So what I probably can do, if I replace that with wood, because I don't think the wheels actually go that far back. Like if you look at this, yeah, the wheels are there. So as long as that's strong enough, and it's not. So if I want to save that much, really, I need to swap some of this with wood. I don't really think that's going to be possible either. I mean, could I tweak these angles a bit to make it cheaper? No, because then we get stuck. What if I make this shorter? But try and keep it the same. I was going to say try and keep it the same angle. The trouble is it just breaks. This took a fair amount of tweaking. Like even moving that little node affects everything. I mean, I guess I can look at the stress and see. Can I shave any of this? Not that node. Maybe that node. Oh, maybe over this side I can trim a little bit. Okay, let's try that node and that node. Okay, I've got to be careful how I do this. I've got to end up at 328 exactly, I think. I don't know if it does the... Like, if you get the same score, does it do it alphabetically or chronologically? But let's try 18,328. So, yes, that is a solution. Where are we ranked? Yes. <laughs> anyway, with that completed, let's head to the gallery. Lowest budget confirmed. People did this for 8 thousand quid 10 grand cheaper than mine uh, using absolute cheese actually i wouldn't know what method they use for that oh they just put like a little speed hump i did try a speed hump i couldn't get mine to work but yeah, oh i also tried that as well oh does that break yeah there's breaks don't show me that game i don't want to see that ain't nobody got time for that yeah this one oh look they did they did a little arch like i did as well lovely oh i'll tell you what this one's very similar to mine but look they they use muscles and wood up here hardly any steel and look they're their support cable was way lower. Fair play. That that support cable, by the way, that's uh, for the impact of the car landing on it, not to actually support the rest of the bridge. Right. Anyway, let's have a look at the highest budget. So the highest budget. Oh, yes. RCE propaganda, as well as this like cantilevered bridge thing with the RC support. Hang oh, man, that's beautiful. It is beautiful. Next one, RC propaganda again. Thank you very much. And then we got the road, bring it straight down. And then just stand a bridge. I'm surprised that was so expensive. I am not going to lie. This, oh, <laughs> Alan. Oh, what did that say? Hang on. I'm going to have to watch that again. All right, get ready to hit pause now. RC, RC. And then uh, another referee's whistle. There's a lot of referee's whistles on Alan's solutions, I've noticed. This one, RC. Where's the E? Where's the... I'm not just real civil. I'm an engineer. Oh, look at this. The car goes upside down. There's the E. It fell off. <laughs> it fell off the bridge. Oh, I love that, Lando. Cheers for that. All right, what's Puddin been up to then? Oh, look at look how rickety that is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was rickety. And then they used foundations. See, this one, I can see where the budget has gone. That one earlier, I'm not so sure. So, oh, look at that. RCE. The C is made out of road. That's what we like to see on the RCE propaganda show. Uh, this one, oh, it funnels backwards and then leans forward. It breaks the steel, though. That's a big impact. This one. Oh, look, little suspension with the cable. That's cool. I like that one a lot, Payden. And then what does that say? Spudwood. <laughs> <laughs> they made Spudwood. Definitely not anything else. Honestly, looking at it again, I thought it was like a torso of like a very chiseled man. Anyway, the next level, we got 65 grand. It's called Out of Time. So, oh, look, we got the DeLorean. So that's got to get over to the right. The Longhorn underneath has got to get over to the left. Oh, but look, there's a dangly thing in the way. Hang on, do those cars... The cars go at the same time. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Because if that tries to... Like, that just hangs in the middle yeah are they do they move at the same speed oh no longhorn three speed two acceleration delorean three speed oh no they do move at the same speed hmm how am i gonna do this then i mean actually i'm wondering could i take like the delorean up a bit if i just push that into place actually let's just see if i copy that down to there and then just build a bridge so boosh 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 Boosh, boosh, boosh. So we got a nice arch bridge, which is which is going to break. We can give it some wall braces. Oh, which has not helped in the slightest. Okay, well, maybe I need to take, like, more of the bridge down to these wall braces, do I? No, the roads are just... Why are the roads under so much stress? Oh, actually, hang on, hang on. I can I can dangle the bridge from this. That's better. That is taking some weight. That's taking a bit too much weight. But yeah, basically, if you watch this... Ooh, ooh, yes. 
Oh, that's sort of what I actually intended. It worked. It actually worked. That's why I thought to go upwards. Because I was like, maybe the flap won't matter as much. Oh, how do... Oh, top 37%. That's terrible. Well, Tyler did it for 29 grand. Oh, dear. All right, let's try again. Let's get rid of my wall braces. And we'll see where they needed. So I'm not convinced they were. This is the... Oh, yeah, that's the real test. Oh, no. Basically, when this flap, like, lands back on the DeLorean, it sort of messes everything up. Like, there. It does, like, a double tap. Now, I am wondering, though. I know I can get rid of all of these, and the bridge will be stable. It won't be as strong, but it won't weigh as much. So, it could be as strong. Let's just have a look at what happens here. Oh, no. All the top broke. All right. Well, let's try, then. Just doing, like, rope on the top wooden rope. Yeah, that didn't work. What if I add double the ropes? Is Oh no, they're really stressed. They're really stressed. Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I need to make this top arch a bit taller. Or maybe do I need an arch at all? Let me just see if I were to boosh and do this as a flat bridge without those middle pieces. It does break instantly, but I'm thinking, what if I hold the DeLorean back? Can it support a single... Oh, it can't actually support a single car. Oh, dear. Yeah, this is why arches are generally used over just flat bridges. It adds a lot of strength. This is also more expensive than Tyler's as well. Actually, I've just had a thought. Could I bring these onto one bridge? Because this is sort of the only way I can think to get like within the right sort of price bracket. So I can truss this up. I can then dangle from above, which I probably should have tried with the last one, but I completely forgot. And then I just need to make like a cat flap here. So if I put that road there-ish, dangle some rope from above, then that gets through the cat flap. Nice. The only... <laughs> The only trouble is they collide. But yeah, again, hold the DeLorean back. So that drives through. All right, then it sends the DeLorean on its way. Oh, man. Unfortunately, it then splooshes off the end. Okay, but I reckon if I can somehow get like an arm up here so that the, the Longhorn can make it underneath. But ideally, it gets a little nudge. It may free the DeLorean. Although actually, oh, DeLorean's got meant... Oh, my God. Did you see that? Watch that again. There's like a piece of wood. Oh, dear. Just went absolutely mental. Tell you what, that actually nearly worked. But right, right. Longhorn, give it a nudge. Oh, it hasn't freed it. It hasn't freed it. If I speed up time, though. Oh, no. It was off, but it fell off. Yeah, I'm just wondering. What if I just make down here a bit stronger? Perhaps tweak this so the landing's a bit nicer. Oh, that worked. Oh, it did work, but that broke. Can I swap you with rope? So yeah, basically, cat flap over that side works a dream. The Longhorn frees that. Oh, the rope snapped. Do I need anything there? What if I just don't have anything there? All right, nothing. Oh, no. Yeah, looks like I need something to make it strong enough. I've only got wood to work with. I mean, I could go from you up to you and then muscle that. All right, please, please, please. Nothing break. Oh, nothing break. Nothing break. Are we good? Are we good? Yes, 23 grand, 892 quid. Top 2%, absolutely obliterated, Mr. Tyler. You may as well sit on that bike, mate. 117th. I haven't even, like, actually tweaked this. I can probably just bring these down a little bit. If I do that the whole way across, nice. We shaved, like, another 500 quid off. We're in the top 100. I will take that. Let's go look in the gallery. So the lowest budget. Oh, my goodness. What is that? Oh, did they, they they held the Longhorn back? And yeah, they had a catch from the DeLorean. So similar to what I did in terms of like holding your vehicle back and the other one catching it. But a tiny bit cheaper than mine. <laughs> this one. Oh, that one's very similar. Does it have a catch or is it just, I think it's just good luck, good timing that that one works. Oh, Razdaz with the RC propaganda and still beating my score. But yeah, it's all about using one bit of road holding a car back, having the other one free it. Good work, everyone that figured that out. Let's have a look at the highest budget. Oh, yes. RCE propaganda. And for some reason, they've got like footprints, like without the toes hanging from everything. I don't know what that's all about. Quite unusual, but yeah, like it. Definitely appreciate the propaganda. Thank you very much. This one, RCE, give me tea. <laughs> I don't know where Nifty is. Nifty's gone. Like, I know we, we sort of had a cliffhanger last episode, but is Nifty going to appear? I mean, there's Alan. You can always count on Alan to appear. You can always count on Alan to give those as well. Cheers, Alan. Alan! Danny DD, but no Nifty. 
Ooh, that was a rhyme. Snatty Rogers. Look at the rope work on there. They've got tension. They've got cable stage. They've got all sorts. Payden with the suspension as well. You can always count on Payden for a bit of suspension. Uh, this guy loves the truss. And I love the truss work. Good job. I'm scrolling through these though. I'm not seeing any nifty sponsored solution so let me know in the comments what you think actually happened to nifty next time we got five levels until this world is complete but for now i'm gonna say peace love and bridges bye guys